friends, welcome to Nurturing Faith. I'm here on our church campus outside McNaughton Hall, off the patio, sitting in the green grass. Actually, I'm on a boat. I hope you can notice that. And I'm here in this boat, and I'm here in this favorite spot of the children in my preschool class who love to call this the mighty tower under this mighty oak tree with the palm trees behind me. And I'm looking around at everything God has created. The flowers and the grass and the trees and the sun beaming down between those trees. I want you to think about that. God's creation, the little gifts, the things that make us go, wow, isn't that beautiful? Or wow, how did God ever create this? It seems so, I don't know, it seems so complex. I know that's a big word for some of you, but it's like, wow, it is just awesome. I can't think of another word for it, awesome. And today our lesson is based on a psalm, which is found in our Bible book in what they call the book of Psalms. And Psalms is another way of saying songs. And so most of the psalms that you'll find in the book of Psalms are songs that can be sung. And so we think of the psalmist as a songwriter, talking about how to pray to God with music, with the, the rhythm of our voices, and how to just be amazed by everything that surrounds us. And before we get started, I just want to introduce you to a, a little song and I hope that many of you probably learned the song Are You Sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping brother John? Well this song goes like that but with a little different words and so what you need to do is just repeat after me so I hope that you're helping me and you're ready and we'll open with God is with us, God is with us every day, every day. God will always love us, God will always love us. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for singing with me. And now let's get into our story for today. It's about, it's based, as I said earlier, on Psalm 19. So ask your mommies and daddies to help you look it up in your Bible book. And if you don't have a Bible book at your house, you can look it up on the computer with your moms and dads or on their smartphone. But look for Psalm 19 and read what the Bible says. And then you can compare it to this story that you're about to hear. Once there lived a songwriter who loved God and tried so very hard to follow in God's ways. And one day the songwriter was drifting along in a boat, looking at the sky and thinking about God's amazing creation. All day long, the songwriter noticed the beauty of the sky and watched as the sun rose and traveled across the sky and then went down in a blaze of red and orange, a beautiful sunset. And as the sun went down, the first twinkling of the stars appeared in the night sky. Amazing, thought the songwriter. God made the sky and everything in it. The sun, the moon, the clouds, the stars, rainbows. Isn't God just amazing when you think about it? As the stars twinkled in the night sky, the songwriter thought about the wonderful things that God had made and how wonderful it was to just live in God's beautiful world. And he thought, or she thought, you know, I'll write a song about this. And so the beauty of the stars and the clouds and the sun and the moon, they all tell of how wonderful God is. And we might say the glory of God. They don't speak a word. They are the message 
Just looking at the beauty is the message. So I want you to help me. Glory to God from morning to night. From day to day and night to night, the message of the Creator goes around the world. And we say glory to God from morning until night. The sun awakens us to a new day. And God's word sets us on a new path. That means remembering God's stories and being able to, to remember them and tell them to other people and to just watch the beauty surround us. So we go glory to God from morning to night. And then we seek eagerly for God's word and God's path. That means we think about God and we think about what decisions, what choices does God want us to make today? And we think glory to God from morning to night. Yes, yes. The people from the smallest to the tallest. They praised God for God's creation and God's word. So it was like saying, thank you, God, for this beautiful creation. Thank you for inspiring people to write down words, to write songs so that we can better know you and how you want us to live. In your children's packet that your mommies and daddies will receive in email, or you can look it up on the computer on our website, you will find a paper in there that asks you to think about God. And it will give you some suggestions and some ways you might do that. I hope you'll look at that paper with your mommies and daddies and talk about it. Things that you can do, ways that you can think about God and appreciate God. And also, if you would for me, I would really appreciate it if you were going to paint a picture about God's wonderful world, what would you include in that picture? So I'm inviting you to paint a picture, to draw a picture of God's world, what it looks like to you, this wonderful world. And if you would, Ask your mommies or daddies or another adult or big sister, big brother to take a picture of your painting and your drawing and send it to me. My email address is Andrea at PlymouthMiami.org. PlymouthMiami.org. I'd love to see how you picture God's wonderful world. And now in closing, I want you to sing another little song with me that goes to the same tune of Frere Jaca, Are You Sleeping? And it's like this. May God bless you. May God bless you. Keep you safe. Keep you safe. May God's love surround you. May God's love surround you. Go in peace. Go in peace. Amen.